So the meditation we're going to be doing is an, a meditation that is kind of an intro into quantum concepts. As you go through your spiritual journey, you'll start to hear or become more aware of quantum physics or this idea that we are light and that we are surrounded by light and that it's from this light that we are all connected. So she will introduce this concept to you and then take you on a meditation to reinforce it. She is personally one of my favorites. Again, her name is Jean Houston. And she was my introduction into the quantum. So I'll give it another three minutes and around 45, we'll start the meditation. Eleven forty four. This may be a significant number. And as it's 11.45, two and nine, harmony towards wish fulfillment, we'll start the meditation. It is the discovery of the quantum field that is changing our view of reality. It seems that we may be immersed in a sea or a field or a web of energy that is coextensive with the immensity of the visible universe and the most minute particles of matter. It is coextensive with you. This invisible web, this quantum field, connects every one of us to each other and to every aspect of life in the cosmos. Just as we are now discovering that consciousness 
is distributed through every cell of our body. So we are discovering that it may be present in every photon or particle of light throughout the universe. This discovery tells us that we are literally bathed in a sea of light, invisible to us, but all-pervading. So let us again experience this light in an expanded way from the ones that I introduced in the preview calls. What I mean by living in the light is that you will begin living outside your former cave of belief, no longer so easily fooled by illusions, by shadow plays. You will not only see the true nature of reality, but you'll begin to live with the knowledge that the universe is always at the ready to co-create with you. You'll begin to taste it in your breath, feel it in your step, and inside this connection, you'll find the higher patterns that can guide your creativity and your growth. You'll begin to see beauty and meaning and pattern all around you, and yet you'll still remain who you are at your core, able to go about your daily work in a much more efficient, joyful, and harmonious way. So please begin by breathing slowly and deeply. Slowly and deeply. Slowly and deeply. Continue doing so. In the quiet of the breath, I invite you now to begin to imagine that within the center of your mind, there is a quiet, calm lake. And it is a lake of light, serene, peaceful, placid, in the center of your consciousness. This quiet lake of light. And as you breathe in, the light grows. And as you breathe out, it contracts. But now you find that you're able to be with the light in a playful way, so that as you breathe in, the light expands, it grows brighter. As you breathe out, it moves through your entire mind-brain system and illumines that mind-brain system, that whole beingness. So inhale, and the light becomes more intense, expands, becomes brighter. Exhale. It is dispersed to all parts of you, all parts, atoms, molecules, cells, neurons, the structures of your brain, mind, even now the whole body, the brain that hangs down through every part of the body, receiving that light. Inhale. The pool becomes intense, expansive. Exhale. The light particles, the photons move out throughout your brain and body. Filling your heart. <laughs> Inhale. It becomes brighter, more expansive, richer, lovelier. It is a loving light. Filling your heart. Exhale. These particles, these parts of loving, living light move through now your whole body, your entire being. You find yourself in a vast sea of light. You are there in the fathomless depths of that oneness which is light. And the light that is embedded in you burns deeper and brighter because you are in that field of light. You are in the field, the quantum field, that banishes all the negative, all the old things that you no longer need. You are also in that quantum field where all new possibilities exist. And from this moment forth, if you choose, it is never, ever going away. If you choose, you will always have access to your beingness of light. And it may even be that an emotion so sweet, so lovely, so beautiful, pure love and compassion, or just sheer delight of beingness fills you now. You are also the light that moves the sun and all the stars. 
and being filled with light. You can say in your heart's mind, in your mind's heart, I am a being of light. I love the light. I serve the light. I am illumined, sustained, supported by the light. And I support and sustain the light. The light, which is also love, and I are of the same essence. And it seems to you that within this great sea of light, which is you, which is the quantum field of all possibilities, which is the light, which is love, this essential nature dwells in you, calm, serene, centered, illumined, sustained and sustaining the universe, always there, though, although it may be that before this moment you never knew it was there, sitting perhaps like a Buddha in the center of your very being full of light and yet know one thing, and now discovering in the light the pattern of your own possibilities emerging from the light. You may see or feel what is emerging of these possibilities, these new ways of being, but also placing there some intention you have for your life, some dream or desire, placing it in this field in which your dream, your desire, your intention is taken up in the interdependent co-arising so that your intention is made clearer. It may grow or change as you feel and observe it in this vast sea of creative, fertile light. Observe it now as it begins to take on the qualities, the very form that you intend. It is partnership in creation, your desire, your intention, and the cosmic response. Watch now. Feel now as it grows in clarity, in manifestation, as it is remade, improved, deepened in the quantum field of all becoming. And do that now. I will be quiet for a few moments as you do that now. But always remember that you are made of light. You are of the same essence as the quantum field of light wherein all thoughts, all dreams become reality. My friends, please listen to this recording several times in the next week or so. Practice being the light as a joyous experience. And again, that was Jean Houston. And she has a lot of books on quantum concepts and spirituality. And duality and polarity. So I invite you to sit with self and ponder on this light, on the light that you are. and on the desires of your heart that you placed in the light. Knowing that, that desire, that dream was placed within the quantum, within the vast darkness of potential and is in or it is in that darkness in that potential that your light can be seen that your light can be felt and it is where the universe takes stock on what it is that you so desire. 
so sit with this music in meditation in the darkness that is the quantum that is potential that is the example of polarity where darkness and light come together to manifest. So would invite you to an affirmation or a mantra that I use daily, and that is I am light, I am love, I am grace. again, that mantra is, I am light, I am love, I am grace, I am abundance, I am gratitude.
and the message is that we have graduated out of the need for duality. No longer will we be a being who is bridged between the universe and this earth. That we are stepping into polarity, into the need of bridging the gap between the two of bringing our spirituality, our sense of being, our higher self to this realm so that we can birth in this new earth a place of love, a place of compassion and of understanding. No longer will we be a society based on exclusion. And instead, we will turn to inclusion, the notion that all are welcome because all are needed those who vibrate high are needed those who vibrate low are needed those that show us and bring us the lessons that can be gained from the dark and those that bring us and steward us into the light. A society of polarity. No longer the dual, but instead the balance, masculine and feminine energies. where we know our leadership role, calling on our masculine energy to help us steward this new earth, and then calling on our feminine energies that will help us to nurture this earth. We are one. The yin and the yang. The masculine and the feminine. Earth and the universe. We are polarity.